Hello, my name is Emily Masters. My pronouns are she, her. I am the school library media specialist for Overholzer Elementary in Putnam City Schools, and I'm currently serving on the Children's Sequoia Reading Committee. This is the Donna Norvell awards list. So this is our master list. With the Sequoia lists, there are up to 15 books. With the Donna Norvell list, we're doing five. And for the first time ever, this is actually going to be a children's choice award. So instead of the children's committee selecting a winner, we are actually selecting five to go on the master list. And then children in grades two and under will get to choose the winner for the Donna Norvell award. So this award is really fun because it is for our little. So it's a different... Um, evaluation criteria. We are looking for high quality in writing and illustration, clarity to the age group, of course, factuality, originality, that it's age appropriate and that it's stimulating. So we are so excited to present this year's master list and show you guys what we have chosen for our kiddos. Hello everybody, my name is Maisie and I work at the Children's Department at the Southwest OKC Public Library. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the book An Ordinary Day by Elena Arnold. An Ordinary Day is a picture book about an ordinary day in a neighborhood and how one person's ordinary day can be another person's extraordinary day. So as some uh, people in the neighborhood play as usual and do their chores. Um, others welcome a new baby into their family and others even have to say goodbye to a beloved pet. So An Ordinary Day is a beautifully illustrated picture book with a very diverse set of characters that, show, that really highlights the uh, circle of life. Hi there, my name is Michelle Robertson and I am the educational consultant on the Children's Sequoia Committee. I work at the University of Central Oklahoma as an assistant professor in the Library Media and Education program. The book we're going to talk about today is Your Name is a Song by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow. This little girl has the coolest name ever, but nobody at school, including her teacher, knows how to say it correctly. So the little girl goes home really sad from school and her mom teaches her a little trick, how to sing her name. So all of her friends and her teacher will know how to say her name correctly. So she goes back to school the next day and when her teacher calls her name, she sings the song it teaches her friends and her teacher how to say her name correctly. It's an amazing story with some very beautiful pictures in it. I think you'll really enjoy this one. This book that I want to show you guys is called Lights on Wonder Rock by David Litchfield. And can you just, ugh. Oh, it's so pretty. So this book is about a girl who goes out into the forest and she is waiting and she like believes that there are aliens, right? And so she's sitting and she's clicking her flashlight on and off and on and off and on and off. And then, guys, there's aliens. <laughs> what I find so exciting about this book is that it kind of has the feel of a graphic novel, which is really exciting for our younger readers, but also it just has some of the most stunning colors and illustrations. Um, it's really beautiful and kind of talks about meeting somebody from a different, you know, obviously <laughs> different upbringing part of the world than you. And I think this one is so exciting. Kids love to see aliens and friendly space stuff. And then it's really cool to watch this little girl grow up and try to meet these aliens again. And it kind of talks about, you know, the life that she's led on earth and the friends that she's made from outside of earth. So again, this is Lights on Wonder Rock by David Litchfield. Today I'm going to be talking about the book Such a Good Boy by Mariana Cobo. So Such a Good Boy is about a dog named Buzz, Buzz the Sixth. There were five other Buzzes before him. So um, he has a lot of family history and he wants to be a good boy to live up to that history. But there's a lot of pressure 
to being uh, good. Um, and one day he decides to do some of the things that he wants to do. And as you can see from the cover, some of the things he wants to do, get him dirty. Um, so this is a great, very colorful picture book about the pressure to be good at the expense of your own self-expression. The book we're gonna talk about today is The Memoirs of a Tortoise by Devin Sicilian, and it's illustrated by Tim Bowers. This is a picture of Oliver. The story starts in the spring and it goes through the spring and then in through summer and then fall and winter. When we get back to the spring, something happens in Oliver's life. He ends up going to talk to his mom about it and he finds out that truly there is a season for all friends. I think you'll really enjoy this book. Have a good day.